Hi, I'm Jonathan Wild, and we cover how to record short-term notes payable exchanged for overdue accounts payable. A note payable is a written promise to pay an amount of money on a specific date and usually with interest. A short-term notes payable means that the money is due within one year. A note payable can also be exchanged for an overdue accounts payable. A note payable is preferred by the party owed money because a note can earn interest and is a written promise, which can be beneficial to them in a legal dispute. So let's do an example. Assume that we are overdue on a $1,000 accounts payable. And our supplier asks us to sign a note payable in exchange for giving us more time to pay. So on May 1st, we agree to pay the supplier $200 cash now and sign a 120 day $800 note payable with 9% interest in exchange for our accounts payable. To record this entry, we debit accounts payable for 1,000 credit notes payable for 800 and credit cash for 200. We debited accounts payable to remove that liability account as we have now paid some cash and converted the rest to a notes payable. We credited notes payable as we now owe $800 in the form of a notes payable. And we credited cash to reduce that asset account. Now, on August 29th, when the note is due, we pay back the $800 plus interest. To compute interest expense, we take the $800, multiply it by 9%, and multiply that by 120 over 360 days. We include the 120 over 360 days because the 9% rate is an annual rate, but the note is only for 120 days. We use a 360 day year called the banker's rule because it makes for easier calculations. So this gets us $24 of interest expense. Now to record our repayment plus interest, we debit notes payable for 800 to remove that liability account. Debit interest expense for 24 to increase that expense account and credit cash for 824 to decrease that asset account for the note payable and interest paid.